Hey, Sonia, this is Jeff with Zucker Marketing. Thank you so much for making time to talk with Eric. And as promised, here's your website analysis. So we'll be going over some few things that can actually help you rank higher, bring you more traffic, and of course, get you more customers. So let's go ahead and start off with your website. Well, you actually have a pretty good looking website. So you have your logo here. You have call to action, good photos, nice layout. You also have client testimonials. So yeah, there's actually just some few things we're going to get over first to make sure we get you on top of the search list. One thing I can tell you right off the bat is that Google loves content. Google actually would like to see a minimum of 1500 words on a homepage. And in addition to this, the more content you'll have, the more you look like an expert in Google's eyes. So of course, if you want to beat out the competition, you'd want to have 1500 words or more. So let's go ahead and do a quick count just for us to see how many words you have on your homepage. All right, so currently you have 888 words, which is not a bad number. However, we're still quite behind with the goal of 1500 for us to actually be considered by Google as a trustworthy website. Another thing I would like to talk about are keywords. So Google is actually looking for keywords. It's looking for what the site should be found for. So if you have the exact words listed multiple times on your website, you're going to be really relevant for that search. And of course, Google's going to be willing to put you higher in the results. So I actually did a quick search of the roofing companies in one of the areas you're servicing. So we'll talk more about the results that we have here. Starting off with the first one. So these are what we call the sponsored. So these are actually the paid ones wherein people are paying ads for their website to show up here. So we're not going to be talking much about the paid ones, but rather we'll move on to the next part. So this right here is what we call the map hack. And this is actually something where you really would like to be on since these are the ones that gets a lot of attention, a lot of traffic, and are easier to find. And one way for you to be here is you'll need to have Google My Business profile where you'll enter as much information as possible like the company name, phone number, email, company address, hours of operation, photos, and so on and so forth. And also if you add those same information in as many directories as possible, that will also help you a lot to appear in the map pack faster. Um, moving on to the next part, these are what we call the organic searches. So these are all the websites that actually ranks higher without people paying for any ads just because they're doing some certain things. And that's exactly what we're going to talk about and analyze. So I actually pulled up one of your top competitors' website and let's see what they have differently. Looking at their website, they also have a pretty good one. So they have their logo here. Pretty good photos, client testimonials, nice con content, and good amount of, you know, contents as well. So let's go ahead and dig deeper with the numbers instead. This is Ahrefs, one of the paid tools that we're using for us to have some more information on the back end of your website. Let's go ahead and talk more about the numbers. So let's start off with DR. So this is actually the level of trust that Google has in your website. UR would be the strength of your website. Backlinks, on the other hand, these are other websites that refers to your website. So they're like shoutouts from different directories like Yellow Pages, Yelp, and alike. I also have your competitor's website pulled up here. We'll be comparing the numbers and we'll actually see what they have differently. It shows that you actually have more numbers with DR and UR, which simply means that Google finds your website a more trustworthy website and a stronger website. And the reason for that is because you have more backlinks and you also have more keywords. However, their edge seems to be with the traffic. So with that being said, let's go ahead and talk more about backlinks and keywords and let's discuss how they were able to in increase their traffic. So starting off with backlinks or what we call the referring domains. So as you can see, these are all the directories they're currently listed on that actually brings them a lot of attention and a lot of traffic. That's why they're currently ranking higher in the searches. And next will be the organic keywords. So these are all the keywords they have listed on their website. So when customers search for the specific words, their website will show on top of the list. And if you also look at the numbers under volume, these are all the hits or clicks that they're getting with the help of each keyword. So that's how important in choosing the right keyword is. That way, more customers will be able to find your website quicker and easier. Another thing I would like to share about keywords is what we call the hidden keyword. So let's use this photo as an example. 
So if we, you know, save this photo and instead of naming it with a generic file name, you can actually rename it with a hidden keyword. And you can do the same thing with the other photos you have here. That way you'll have more hidden keywords added to your website. And not only that, of course, for those keywords to not to be repetitive on your website as well. So just to wrap things up, the most important things that we can definitely do to improve your ranking is first, the amount of content wherein we're going to add more words to your homepage. That way more customers will be able to, or Google will actually consider your website a more trustworthy website and a stronger website. Next would be the backlinks wherein we're going to add your information to more directories as possible, like Yellow Pages, Yelp, Angie.com, so on and so forth. That way we can actually bring you more traffic and of course, the higher chances of your website in appearing on top of the map pack searches. Last but not the least will be the keywords wherein we're going to help you out in adding more keywords and of course, choosing the right ones. That way, more customers will be able to find your website faster and easier. So that's actually all that I have for now. If you have any further questions, feel free to call or email Eric back so that he can tell you the next steps and the other things that we can do. Thank you so much for your time. You all have a wonderful day. Bye.